Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm looking a little crazy because I just got back from the gym, but I went to shower and that and stuff. You already saw the title of this video. I am getting a piercing done. And I'm vlogging this portion right now because unfortunately I cannot vlog in there. But before we continue, my name is Patty for those who are new. So welcome. I do content about pretty much anything. So make sure to subscribe. And yeah, but there's this place that I've been wanting to, you know, check out. And it was perfect because my brother actually has a piercing. He has his ear pierced. And he wanted a stud. So I'm like, hey, let's go here. It's right by my house. Has good reviews. Um, maybe you can get a new stud there. And you get your stud. I ask about the deets. And I have always been a fan of piercings and tattoos. I don't have any. I just have my two, like my normal ears pierced. Nothing crazy. Um, but I'm getting my helix done. And eventually I want to get my trigus and my conch. But far out, of course. Because the girl said it takes about four months to like not swelling apparently and then like six to a year six months to a year to like fully heal because i'm assuming it's cartilage and my research so that's what i'm getting done today just one she said i can get all three if i wanted to but we're just gonna start out with the helix and then maybe in like two or three months i'll get my tragus pierce and then the conch um, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews, some people say it hurts, some people say it doesn't. I guess it's pain tolerance, and I guess I have a pretty, not high, but like in the middle, because I, I do cry a lot about a lot of stuff, so I'm just like wondering, because I've seen the videos, it's just like a big ass needle, so I'm just like, so that is it, and I will see you in a little bit once I have it pierced. Hey guys, so it's clearly the next day. Um, yes, I did get it done. I got my helix pierced yesterday at night at 6.30. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, I could not vlog in there because I did go through their policies through their website and they're very strict on recording. You do have to ask, but I was kind of shy and I just want to get it over with, you know? But next time I do go, because I have to go in eight weeks, but I'll explain all that jazz. Um, this video is pretty much my experience, the pain, um, a little background on why I got it, my little journey if I'm getting more, what is the tea if you're thinking about getting it. I'm just going to tell you my side because trust me, I did the research, I looked at the videos, I did everything. So if you're like me that hates pain or can't tolerate pain, just like me, this video might be for you. So let's get started. Okay, so First things first, a little back end. I have always wanted this piercing since I could remember, I kid you not. But I will say a little disclaimer before I really start getting into it. Um, I want to say I'm not a professional. Do your research. Don't go to Claire's because, girl, we all been there. Like, we all been to Claire's. Just don't do it because, you know, safety reasons, sanitary, and all that stuff. You don't want to do that. Um, like I said, do your research. I think that's mostly important. Go to a professional, any tattoo shop, or just a body place, like body piercing place in general. But I think the most important, do your research. <laughs> that's what I did. So, I just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. And also, I just want to say, I come from a very, very, very strict Mexican household. So if you know, you know getting piercings and tattoos is just like, it's just something that, you know, period. But let's get to it. So, like I said, long story short, I have always wanted piercings and generals. Um, helix to start off with of course because I I just knew about like your earlobes and like the piercing like for the helix that's all I knew but then I like through Pinterest and as I got older I saw people and I'm like oh my god those look so cool like that's just amazing and of course I have like always was into that like tattoos and piercings in general like period so and I don't have any tattoos by the way but maybe in the near future I don't know sorry mom and dad but um, like I said, my husband actually has a couple of piercings himself. If you know him, um, you already know he has his eyebrows, his ears, and then he does have the helix. And I would tell him, I'm like, oh my god, I really want to get it, like, oh, this and that. He's like, I'll take you, I'll take you, or find a place and I'll take you. And I was like, no, no, no. And last year, I really looked into it. I found a place um, that I've been eyeing. It's super close to my house. And I was like, oh, it has really good reviews and all that stuff. And yes, I did go a year later, obviously. Um, so... 
When it comes to the helix, you obviously, um, you do your research, you kind of have an idea of what you want. I do want to do like the whole um, Keurig, ear Keurig thing or whatever it's called, I'll put it here on the screen. Um, you can do so many things to your ears, obviously, if you go professional and clean it and all that good stuff. So I got the helix, so let me zoom in and show you. So here it is, it's like this really pretty like, I forgot the name, I'll put it on the screen, but it's like this beautiful little diamond stud. I will say my jewelry was a little expensive, um, but I'm gonna go through all that. Oh my god, I just freaking love it. It is obviously red because I just got it yesterday, but I'm cleaning it and I'll go over that. But I thought I'll just zoom in and show you kind of like the aftermath. Sorry, my hair gets in the way. Okay. So. Um, if you're wondering about the price, the price at my place was $35. Um, you have to book it online. It's only online appointments. Um, obviously, you can walk in and ask questions, but they do recommend you do it online. Um, I did have to wear a mask. Um, I know right now with the CDC, it's optional, but they are only masks because they want to feel safe, and that's by all means. And then the people were there were so nice. It was like two girls. Um, they were just amazing. Yesterday was my brother's birthday, so he has his ear pierced. He went to like a tattoo shop, I think, like two months ago. And he just wanted a new stud. I'm like, hey, there's this place I want to get my ear pierced. They seem to have a really nice jewelry. Let's go there. So we went yesterday. I checked it out. That place was spot on clean, super friendly. Like, it was just a vibe. The place was a vibe. So pretty. Um, if you're from my area or you know this place, let me know but I freaking love it it's called I think if I'm not mistaken old tradition uh, body art they have pretty much everything they have the BVLA super popular um, which stands for body vision Los Angeles um, jewelry they have I think the one I have it's called anato metal I think and then they have neo metal they have is industrial strength and then Maya Jewelry, and they have everything, all the questions you may have, it's on that website, which I will link it down below. And I have to say, the girl that, her name is M. shout out to M. she did a great job, she was super sweet, she answered all my questions, she was just spot on, like, professional to the top. Like, I think when it comes to, like, getting your ear done obviously they're sticking a needle through your ear so you want to feel comfortable like you want to ask the questions don't be shy because at the end of the day it's your ear <laughs> so you want to make sure to ask those questions which I did um she was like super sweet she like showed me like she did the little dot she's like is this okay obviously when I picked my jewelry I know I'm like jumping ahead when I picked my jewelry because that's what takes the more time. It's a 30 minute process because by the time you do your paperwork, because you do have to do paperwork, you have to pick your jewelry, that's what takes the longest. And then just getting the whole process done is like a 10 minute thing. So it's like you're in and out pretty quickly. Because I mine was at 6.30, I was out like at 6.50 maybe because of the jewelry that I was picking. And they actually have like this little picture thing where they have an ear and then like they place like, because I told her, I guess I'll tell you now that I do want to get my tragus and my conch pierce, which is right here, which I will probably put a picture here so you kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. And um, she's like, well, we'll probably put your helix here. And then she just plays around with like all these like beautiful studs and they're like, this is, they are very honest. Like they'll tell you like, this will look good if there's like room for your ear. And then like, they kind of mapped it out for the future, which was spot on because I never seen or anybody talk about this on YouTube. So I was like, that's great. So they'll They'll tell you like what they recommend what they don't and like if you do this and stuff like that and I was like okay because I originally wanted a hoop but she said no you have to start with a stud and all that stuff so that's a 10 out of 10 for sure when it comes to pain because you're probably like what is the pain um honestly I saw so many reviews and videos people hated it people were like it felt like nothing honestly if I could give it a 1.5 out of 10 because I don't want to give it a 2 honestly I think it was just like a 1 out of 10 it was like a quick little sting you obviously feel the pressure but it's not like like really bad I thought it was like super quick and easy maybe because I was really calm and she kept me calm which is says a lot about the person um, but honestly I think it was like a 1 out of 10 if I'm being completely honest I did ask about the tragus and the conscious it is pretty much the same thing um, and maybe like a 2 or 3 out of 10 but it just of, of course it depends on the person so I was like okay so I don't know I now I can't go back like I want another one but obviously um, she did say to take care of it obviously I did this is very important 
because a lot of people actually do mention this. If you're gonna get any type of piercing, like for me, I am a left side sleeper. So right off the bat, I was like, I need it on my right ear. So I'm gonna start with my right ear, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything on my left ear, but my right ear. So think about that. If you really want it on your left side, you just have to take care of it. But for me, the first night was super easy to sleep because I'm a left side sleeper and I just kept it like normal. Um, they did give me the solution two to three times uh, a day. I did it already in the morning. Maybe I'll do it in the afternoon or she said two is fine, but three is pretty much the standard, but two, you're totally fine. Um, so I'm going to do that later in this afternoon. And then this morning, like, it does hurt if I, like, touch in the back because I have to go back in eight weeks because, um, I guess the bar is longer and the reason they do it is, like, in case of, like, swelling and stuff, there's, like, room for, like, the actual jewel in there, I guess. I don't know. Call me if I'm wrong. But I'm gonna go back in eight weeks, um, so they can change it to, like, the normal size, I think. Um, but when it comes to, like, the time process, it's, she said if you take it really well, sometimes four months, it could take six months to a year to fully, because it is cartilage, so it does take a little longer to heal. But I feel like if I take it well properly, like, really good care i think i should be fine with six months at least that's my goal but i'm trying my best obviously i did like kind of hit it with like my hand in the morning i was like oh i forgot about it like it was just like it just feels like very sore it's not nothing like excruciating pain where i'm like oh my god i can't move my ear because i've seen a lot of people if they did it wrong or if they just completely didn't take care of it it's like really bad they just have to take it out but so far, I mean, it's only day one. I do want to update you guys maybe after the eight weeks. Um, let me know if you want to see that. But other than that, um, my stud was $100 because it's real gold. The piercing itself was $35, so it just depends on the jewelry, obviously. Um, they gave me the solution. It already came with it. The experience was a 10 out of 10. Shout out to M in that place, which was freaking amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys want any... If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. But other than that, that completes today's video. hope you guys enjoyed um yeah so oh and i guess if you're wondering like when i'm getting my next one if i see that it's healing good maybe in like two to four months so i'm assuming once she changes out like the bar or whatever um i'll probably i'm thinking maybe i'll go in the summer like june or july to get that done i'll probably start with my tragus and then my conch or the other way around but i'll probably ask if i can record because you know youtuber but yeah um that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed like i said don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you until the next one bye guys